Hello students, today we are going to make another game with the help of make code arcade application. Let's start. First click on new project. Give the name of the project as Sharko and Fish. Click on create or press the enter button. You will find this screen. Here click on a sprite. Click on set my sprite, attach it in on start. Now here rename it with rename variable as Sharko. Press the enter button. Now here we have to set the image of shark. So click on this icon and gallery. Then search for the image of shark. There are so many images. I'm selecting this one here we have to change the direction of the face of shark or that click on this icon flip horizontal now click on done now click on controller click on move my sprite with buttons attach it now change it to sharko Click on this plus button and put it as 200 plus 200. Then again click on sprite, then scroll it and you will find set my sprite stay in string. Click on this one and attach it just below the move sprite. Here again, change it to Sharko. Now, click on Info. Here, we are going to attach the Set Life block. You can increase or decrease the number of lives as per your wish. Now, click on Info again. And this time, we have to add the countdown. Start countdown. And here also, you can increase or decrease the countdown timing here I am putting 5 now click on game and you will find on game update every 500 millisecond attach this block here now click on a sprite now here, click on set my sprite again and change the name of the sprite with rename variable as fish. Click on OK. And to set the image of the fish, click on this icon and gallery. Then search for the image of fish. Then click on done. Now here it is not a player, so we have to change it as a enemy. Now click on a sprite again. Set my sprite velocity block, and then attach it here. Change it to fish, and here put it as minus. 100 to 0. Why it is minus 100? So it will come from the right side. If you put as 100, it will come from the left side. So it is minus 100. Then afterwards, the position. Click on sprite again and to set the position. Click on this set my sprite position xy coordinates. Here also change it to fish and here you have to put the value 160. You can now click on math and click on pick random. Here attach this icon, this block 
here then put the value 5 to 150 now you can see the dishes are coming from the right side and moving towards the left side with these values now what we have to do we have to click again on a sprite then set my sprite auto destroy click on this block attach it at the last again change it to fish and it will be on so the fish will get destroyed automatically now these two blocks are ready now what will happen when the fish will overlap the shark for that one click on a sprite and we are having this control overlap attach it we have already used in the previous game this one and you can see here also we have to put it as any now here we have to attach the block as change score for that one click on info change score by one when it will overlap then the score will be changed by one now what will happen when they will overlap the score will be one and click on a sprite then destroy my sprite click on this block attach it here then click on this plus button here you have to change it to fish and here when they will overlap how the fish will get destroyed with the spray or with the hearts or you can use I am using this bubble when they will overlap the fishes will destroy it with the images of bubble now three blocks are ready another block now what will happen at the end of the countdown for this one click on info then on countdown end there are three lives to each life is having a countdown when the countdown ends then what will happen it will lose one life so change life by minus one so when the countdown ends the life will be reduced by one and the countdown for the second life will start so we will attach this start countdown and again the timing of the countdown will be 5 seconds and what will happen when all the lives will be ended then we have to click on info on life 0 we have to bring out this block on life 0 here and the life will be zero then what we have to do we have to put stop countdown first of all then click on game then game over put this one here put like this so this is the game you have to click on the save button and save it with the name we'll ask what it then you can see we can run this game 
reloading this game and you can see very interesting game. you can improve or make it difficult by decreasing or increasing the timing and you can see the score is thank you and have a nice day try it at your home